top editors of the Boston Review announced this week that they would retain Juna Diaz on staff. The news led to the resignations of three poetry editors at the magazine. Three editors for the Boston Review are resigning in protest over the literary magazine's decision to retain author Juna Diaz on the staff despite allegations of sexual harassment and misogyny against him. On Tuesday, Boston Review's editors-in-chief, Deborah Chassman and Joshua Cohen, released a statement announcing the magazine's decision to keep Diaz on as a fiction editor, a position he has held since 2003. Poetry editors Timothy Donnelly, B.K. Fisher and Stefania Heim released their own statement on Twitter later that day to announce their resignations, saying they were dismayed by the top editor's decision. While we respect their determination to follow their judgment in this matter, we don't agree with it and have decided that our future editorial work will be better served elsewhere, the editors wrote. Their resignations will be effective on July 1st, they said. At Boston Review at TBFX Donnelly Pick.twitter.com slash 6 6 m BK Fisher at BK underscore Fisher, June 6, 2018 In May, several women accused Diaz, the author of The Brief Wondrous Life of Oscar Wilde, of aggressive and misogynistic behavior, including, in one case, sexual assault. Novelist Zinzi Clemens said the Dominican author cornered and forcibly kissed her when she was a graduate student. As a grad student, I invited Juna Diaz to speak to a workshop on issues of representation in literature. I was an unknown wide-eyed 26-yo, and he used it as an opportunity to corner and forcibly kiss me. I'm far from the only one he's done this to, I refuse to be silent anymore, Zinzik Lemons, at Zinzik Lemons, May 4, 2018 Authors Monica Byrne, Carmen Maria Machado and Elisa Valdez subsequently came forward alleging that Diaz had harassed or bullied them. The allegations emerged in the wake of an essay Diaz published in April revealing that he had been sexually assaulted as a child. Diaz stepped down from his role as chairman of the Pulitzer Prize Board in the wake of the allegations. The Pulitzer Board, as well as MIT, where Diaz is a professor, opened investigations into the accusations. In their statement, Chasman and Cohen said they had reviewed the reports and, thought hard about how we should respond. Noting that they did not condone Diaz's behavior, they said, We do not think that any of the individual actions that have been reported are of the kind that requires us to end the editorial relationship. The objectionable conduct described in the public reports does not have the kind of severity that animated the Responding to a HuffPost query about the poetry editor's departures, Chasman wrote in an email Thursday, Boston Review has three amazing poetry editors. Timothy, Barbara, and Stefania are morally decent, artistically creative, politically committed people who have made a great contribution to Boston Review. We are deeply grateful for all that they have done. They are resigning effective July 1st because they disagree deeply with our decision about how to handle Boston Review's relationship with Juna Diaz. We arrived at our decision after many conversations with writers and long reflection. We believe that we have done the right thing. We know that reasonable people disagree. And we are saddened by their decision to separate. This story has been updated with comment from Chessman. Download.